Let's face it, beginning a website design is really difficult. When you stare at that blank PSD or HTML file, you can feel pretty clueless. And I mean, that's pretty understandable. There's a lot of work cut out for you. You have to be concerned with your headers, your footers, the content of your page, and even the navigation throughout the website. And also, it's going to need to be responsive because most of your traffic is going to be coming through a mobile device. So something that should just be so simple as getting started really isn't. And that's where Design Moto's generator comes into play. So if you go to this website and all that is, is designmoto.com slash generator, you should see this pretty awesome landing page. And if we click on this down arrow right here, this is where all the magic happens. So right away we can see that we see a title for project name and we can actually change this to something of our own. So we're gonna call ours Go Startup. And over here to the left, we can see this toolbar and it has all the UI components that are included in the startup framework. We have header, content, price tables, projects, contacts, crew, blogs, and footers. And if we hover over, we can see that all the headers pop out when we hover over the header part. We can scroll down and we can see every single one included in the startup framework. And if we see one that we particularly like, we can take it and we can drag it out and then it pops right here on the page. So immediately you have this instant look of what this could be on your page. And if you don't wanna see this toolbar on the way, you just click on this right here and you have a nice full page view of it. But if you do wanna see it, you just click the button and the toolbar pops right back into view. So you can keep looking through all the different type of blocks. So you can go into content and you can maybe drag content to, and then right below the header, we now have our content to. We can open up projects, can scroll through, and we can add this projects four. And right below here, now we have this projects four section. And then we can close it off here with footer five. And we will take the I and close it out here. And then right here is just a little sample of our Go Startup project. And we can kind of scroll through it and we can look to see if we like it or not. And I kind of just threw these in here randomly. So I didn't really like a lot of the things that I did. So I'm going to open this back up and I'm going to take this header 15 and I'm going to drag it over to the side. And as you can see, as I drag, you have this big red X to the left. And as soon as it overlaps and I let go, that part is deleted. So I can do that for the rest of these as well. And now we're back to a blank slate. So you don't really have to worry about cornering yourself into any specific design. You can kind of throw blocks out and see what fits and what doesn't. And if you don't like it, you can always just get rid of it on the page. It works as a pretty cool mocking tool for just throwing stuff on the page and seeing what works. So when you're putting things just on the page, they're just static images. So let's make a design so we can check it out in the browser. So we'll go up to headers and we'll choose header 13. Now we'll go to content and we'll choose content seven. And then we'll also include content 22 and then content three. And now we'll go down to footers and we'll use footer 12 and we'll also use footer one. One of the awesome features of generator is that you can share this project with other people. If you just come down here and click this link, you have a permalink to your project and you can get other people's opinions on it and you can easily make changes from any feedback you get. So now that we have our design laid out in Generator, we really just want to see it in the browser. So it would be great if we could export it as HTML and CSS. And if you have a startup framework license, you can do exactly that. This awesome button down here will allow us to download our design. So when you click it, it turns into a progress bar. And then after it's done working, it'll start downloading your design. And now that it's finished downloading, let's take a look at it in the browser. So as you can see, we have some animation on the header. And if we scroll down, we can see a little bit more animation for this content block. And we have animation on this content block as well. And we also can check the responsiveness of the page. So you can see when it's resized to a width of 320 pixels, it looks really good on a mobile device. 
So when you're going through and mocking up your designs, you should keep this animation feature in mind. So instead of spending all your time dragging blocks in and out of the page, you should export it as HTML and CSS and get a really good feel of what it's going to look like in the browser. So in this tutorial, we quickly set up a web design using Design Moto's generator. By just dragging some blocks onto the page, we were able to export our design as HTML and CSS. And this allows us to hit the ground running in terms of building our web design. And just like always, I'm David East. If you have any questions or want something explained in more detail, just leave a comment or you can hit me up on Twitter.